Look, we cleaned up the tag room, took the inventory. We restretched that section of fence. And what about that gate? Uh, we hung that this morning, even all the hinges. And we stacked and covered the winter feed. We got nothing else to do. Well, we still got to round up them strays down Cinnamon Canyon. Yeah, we should round them up for another week. We round them up now, they're just stray again. You're right. We ain't got nothing to do. That's what I said. Howdy. Anything I can do for you? Yeah. We're going to find Ben Cartwright. He's right in the house. I'm his son. Maybe I can help him. I wanted your help. I'd ask for I don't think I like him. Oh. What's the trouble, Bones? Well, we heard him calling out there. We thought we'd come in and see what the trouble was. <laughs> this is an old friend of mine. I've told you all about him. This Montana Perkins. <laughs> <laughs> Montana is my son, Joseph. Oh, yes. Sorry. Sorry. Horse. Horse. <laughs> and there's our chief cook and bodyguard, Hop Singh. Oh, <laughs> pleased to meet you. <laughs> Balls don't us a whole lot about Montana Perkins. <laughs> well, he might have left a few things out. For <clears throat> one, the... Uh... They don't call me Montana anymore. No, I'm the Reverend Carl Perkins now. The Reverend? You a preacher now? Are you a preacher? Are you surprised? <laughs> well, yes, a little bit. Faith doesn't <laughs> always come in a pretty package. When he called me to do his work, he didn't ask me how I dressed or what my manners were like. All he wanted to know was how strong I believe. And sometimes a man's not the best judge of his own salvation. Like they say, the way is hard and the road's long. And none of us are going to get out of this alive. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> They're two fine-looking boys, Ben. Yeah. Come on, sit down. Well, oh. what brings you out this way? Looking for somebody to wear that. I heard that Joe Walters lived somewhere east of here. And I remember that big man could stare down a whole town. Haven't seen Joe around for quite a while. Did you find him? Yeah. Sitting on his porch in the sun with his hands all knotted up, grandkids swarming around his feet. Yeah, well, we're all getting older. True, true, but some are getting older than others. And I'm coming back empty-handed again. Now, if I could just find somebody, even somebody temporary, it'd be a big help. Every day the law's not there, that town sinks a little deeper. Well, if it's just some temporary, I mean, if you can get somebody oh, else. Just, 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 just. Oh, I've been a sheriff before. I've had experience. Of course you've had experience. Doing what? Looking after the officer for a couple of days? Well, this is just temporary. Besides, I ain't got nothing to do around here. Now, look, Hoss. Now, wait a minute, Ben. Why, Hoss? Oh, let's just say that it's one step up that long, hard road for me. Well, Lonnie, you just want to get out of the cattle drive. Yeah, don't forget, Roundup is in two weeks. Just temporary, Paul. How long have you been looking for a sheriff? Off and on, two years. Uh -huh. uh, what do they call this place? Trouble. No, I mean the name of the town. That's the name of it, Trouble. 
Oh, why would anybody want to name a town trouble? You'll find out. I suppose you told them all about New Orleans. Oh, uh, pardon, pardon. Okay. How about that business in Wichita? Well, uh, well, anyway, there was this girl named Alice. We called her Alice from Dallas by way of San Antonio. Oh. I didn't think they'd be interested. Well, surely I'd love to hear it. Well, yeah, Paul, you never did tell us about her. Well, there was nothing to tell. Nothing to tell? Montana? Oh. Yeah. Well, it's been nice seeing you again, Ben. And it's sure been a pleasure meeting your boys. Good to see you again. Take care. You ready, Hoss? Yep. Hey, brother, where are you going? I'll see if I can find out about Alice from Dallas by way of San Antonio. <laughs> Yeah. Take it easy, Paul. I'll see you. Take care of yourself. Yeah, that sure is a funny name for a town, huh? Dallas? No, not Dallas. Trouble. Oh. It's only a name. Probably just like any other town. <laughs> Put that window you just broke on your daddy's bill, you hear me? Tom, come here, somebody I want you to meet. Ain't got time now, Reverend. Got customers waiting. Tom's the head of our town council. Only not during business hours. Well, you hungry, horse? All you do is bite. They serve a pretty good steak down at the saloon. Why don't you run on down there and I'll round up the sheriff and the judge. A couple others you want to meet and come on later. Sounds fine. See you later. What do you want? I'll have a steak dinner. And bring the lady a glass of water. You're a real big spender, ain't you? Well, that all depends. How much do you get for a glass of water around here? What's your name, big fellow? Folks call me Hoss. My name is Lily. You like it? Yeah. yeah. It's real pretty, it fits. Well, thank you. I picked it out of a book. My real name is Ethiopia. You don't go with the outfit. Uh, the outfit fits, too. <laughs> but just barely. Yeah. All right. One steak dinner. And a glass of water. Uh, bring her a shot of good whiskey to chase that with. We ain't got any good whiskey. It runs from bad to worse to rot gut. Well, bring her bad if that's the best you got. Don't we, Lily? Does he serve you real whiskey? Well, what difference does it make? It looks like whiskey. It costs just the same. I drink it, and you pay for it. Lily, tell me. <clears throat> What's a girl like you doing in a nice place like this? Just trying to make ends meet. The Bodie brothers are coming. The Bodie brothers are coming. <laughs> Boy, he sure knows how to clear a place out, don't he? Well, most folks come in here for a drink. The Bodie brothers come in to pick fights with strangers. <laughs> there ain't no strangers left. What do they do in a cage like that? Well, one of them stands out front and throws them in off the street. And you'd better go before they get here. I ain't finished my steak yet. Well, look, you come back later. We'll have our drink then. Same, Rhea. Well, just so you know the rules, partner, anything goes. Biting, kicking, gouging, choking. But no knives and no guns. Well, <clears throat> fellas, I ain't through with a mistake yet. Uh, bartender, bring them around on me. Right, guy. 
Sit down, boys. This will only take a minute. And I'm, my name's Matthew, and that's Mark, and he's Revelation. What happened to Luke and John? Uh, well, Mark took one look at him, and then to us, and figured she'd had enough, so she skipped to the back of the book. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Chip, the Bolte brothers are over to the saloon. So? One fellow didn't get out in time. Christian in with the lion. A great big fellow. It's going to be a whale of a fight. Why are you telling me? I thought you might want to watch. There's four of them there, see? I took out the two big guys on this end there. And old Mark, he grabbed that fat guy, the beard. And old Rev here, he laid into that big old boy on the other end. And when Rev lays hold of a man, he knows he's been laid hold of. I'll bet. <laughs> oh, it wasn't nothing. I just took him to the floor and put the choke on him. His tongue comes out like this, and his lips turn blue, and his eyes roll back in his head. It, it took two of us to pull him off her. <laughs> Fun, huh? <laughs> Fun? <laughs> I should smile to tell you. Yeah. Why? Make way for the deputy. Make way for the deputy. You ain't gonna stop it, are you? Get those boys mad at me? Not on your little tin drum. I think we better hurry up. Let me through there. Let me through. Let me through there. If you want good seats, come early. Yeah, I reckon you always won. Nine nine times out of a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why you thought it was so much fun. Seventy-five cents, sir. Fine. Here. Big change. Judge? I want you to meet Horse Cartwright. Your Honor. And now, folks, I want you to meet up with a man who's going to be our new sheriff. Welcome to trouble, Mr. Cartwright. Now, let's go over to the office and I'll swear you in. Begin to see what you mean about this town. Do you swear to uphold the law? I do, sir. Well, I guess that's just about everything, Sheriff Cartwright. And if there's anything else you need to know, our deputy here, Chip Chesterfield, he'll give you the answers. And if you need me, well, you know where to find me. <laughs> yes, sir. No, as a matter of fact, I don't. Well, you just ask anybody and they'll tell you. Huh. And if you need any help at all, you know who you can turn to. <laughs> uh... Who can I turn to? Absolutely nobody. They're not bad people, Hoss. They just don't care about anybody or anything except themselves. Can we change that? Possibly. But first, I gotta get their attention. Well, seems like a pretty peaceful little town. At times. Jim, how come they didn't make you sheriff? It's too temporary. I've been a deputy here 12 years. I've seen 15 chefs come and go for one reason or another, mostly the other. Trail hat. Out of that herd on its way to San Francisco. Yeah. Well, I think I'll mosey over and let them know the law is alive and around. Well, that might be bad for business. They'll call us when they need us. Come on, Chip. Well, it's 
little early yet. I said, come on, now, let's go. Come on. Up to. I'm sure he's doing all right. 
I shouldn't have let him go. Oh, now, come on. He's a big boy. Probably can take care of himself. Yeah, no. Just that no matter how much older you boys get, I still think of you as my little boy. Guess I always will. Look, if you want, I'll ride over and see how he's making out. Do you like that? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I would. Okay. This ain't such a quiet little town after all. You get a few minutes of peace every day, about sundown. Gives the day people a chance to get into their houses and the night people a chance to come out from under their rocks. Hey, look here, Chip, you've been here for 12 years now. How come you ain't done something about it? I guess a man kind of gets used to people telling him what to do. Well, not a law man. People don't tell a law man what to do. They tell him what they think is right and what they think is wrong, and then he takes over from there. Yeah. That sounds good, Hoss. But doing it ain't easy. Well, I didn't say it was. Well, I guess it's time. Yeah, it's time for what? Go down the saloon, pick up those straining hands. Uh, that boys, he is disturbing the peace now, Sheriff. Well, what are they doing? Well, what difference does it make? I'm a citizen and a taxpayer, and I'm making a complaint. Them boys are disturbing the peace. pretty, but I'm still honest. Why, underneath all this, I got a heart of gold. Yeah, and somewhere underneath all that, you got a bag of gold. Now, give it back to him. Oh. All right, boys, follow me. Bring up the rear, Chip. <laughs> Drunk and disorderly, disturbing the peace and causing a public nuisance, five dollars a piece. Put the money on the desk and get out. of the gods do not grind exceedingly slow in this town. <laughs> you say that again. Mine? Yours? The town's. Goes in the safe over there. Your Honor, 
As long as you're here. Well, what did they do? These men started a fight with me. <laughs> Is that all? Well, Your Honor, these men are charged with assaulting an officer of the law. We wasn't assaulting an officer. We just fighting with Halls. Well, it's the same difference. Now, don't interrupt, Sheriff. You made the charge. Now, let him answer it. We just settling up a grudge with Halls. It's between him and us. It had nothing to do with the law or him being an officer. Then you didn't intend the law no harm. Oh, no, sir. We just wanted to whoop Halls. That being the case, not guilty. Run along, boys. Your Honor, these fellas attacked me. It was between you and them. And the law is not here to settle your personal matters. But, Your Honor, they I... were not mad at the law, Sheriff. They were mad at you. All right. They're guilty of assault and battery, then. Well, possibly, but that isn't what you charged them with. Now, don't forget the letter of the law, Sheriff. I won't forget the letter of the law if you don't forget the intent. The... Even a sheriff can be charged with contempt. Run along, boys. Thanks a lot, Uncle Jeff. See you, Sonny. Matthew, I tell your mother I'll be there about the usual time. Yes, sir, Uncle Jeff. Good afternoon, Sheriff. Your Honor. Yes? <laughs> Judge. Yes? I know this is maybe a ridiculous question, but... Them three boys, they're your nephews. Yes, that's right. Their mother is my baby sister. Huh. Well, you knew they was guilty. Well, yes, of course I did. Then how come you let them go? Well, for a very simple reason. If they went to jail, it'd break their mother's heart. Oh. Good afternoon, Sheriff. I tried to tell you. Wouldn't do any good to arrest those boys. Yeah. From the beginning, I understand how this town got its name. It could be worse. Yeah, I reckon it could. It could be raining all day, every day. Somebody has to teach him some manners. Don't call my son a little animal. He at least breathes now and then, which is more than I can say about yours. My son is the cleanest boy in the second grade. And the oldest. Well, Ladies. it wouldn't be if yours ever got out of the first grade. Ladies. Oh, just keep out of this. Mama! Mama, he hit me! Oh! oh. Sheriff, I want you to arrest that bully. You lay a hand on my son, and you will have the devil to pay and me to reckon with. Which is what and the same. <laughs> ladies, ladies, please, please. <laughs> Somebody do it for you. It costs too much money. All right, I'll just get a law passed against it, that's all. Well, we'll talk about that the next time the town council meets. In about six months. The trouble is, them that make the biggest messes also pass the laws. Hey, Sheriff, there's some guy been sneaking around town all morning. He's over the bank in that alley. Yeah? Yeah. Thanks. Don't move. Everything you 
say, Hoss. What are you doing here, Joe? Keeping an eye on things for you. It's a good thing I am. You know, just went to the bank. I give up, Luke. The whole clan gang. Yeah? I swear to you, they just went in there. That's what I've been watching. Just get over it. What do you think? That's him, all right. Real good to see you boys again. It's a pleasure doing business with you, Jethro. The pleasure is mine, sir. All mine. Who that was? That was Jack Clinton. Well, of course. He's my biggest depositor. Checking and savings. You know where he gets his money? Nope. Never asked. And he never said. Well, I'm not surprised. It's none of my business. And it's none of yours. Well, what do you think of that? I think the more I see this town, the more I see why they need some all in order. Yeah. Come on. Jim, guess who's in this town? The Clanton gang. Why, well, I know that. Well, let's go arrest them then. For what? For the bank robbery. Where? Well, the only one I know for sure is Reno. It ain't against the law in California to rob a bank in Nevada. It ain't? Or Arizona, or New Mexico, or Colorado, or even Oklahoma. You mean them Clantons ain't wanted for nothing here in California? Why, well, they don't even spit on the street here. They're little angels. One of them's even been known to go to church on Sunday. Oh, wait, wait a minute. You mean nobody in this whole town cares who they are or what they've done? Not as long as they pay their bills. Tip heavy, and don't bother nobody. <sighs> I don't understand these people. Look, you want to be smart? Take the badge off, put it on the desk. Let's go get your horse and get out of here. Not yet, Joe. These people don't care. Well, I do. And it bothers me, and I'm going to do something about it. How do you feel about it, Chip? I've been a lawman 12 years, and I don't like what's going on in this town. There's nothing I can do about it. You ever try? I did, a number of times. And people complained that what I was doing was bad for business. As fast as I could pick them up, they'd turn them loose. What would you say if I was to tell you we're going to put this town in order? I'd say you had rocks for brains. But I'd back you all the way. Good. Joe, as of now, you're a deputy. Two dollars a week. I don't think I want the job. Now, come on, Joe. I'm going to need all the help I can get. All right, I still think you're making a mistake. Foss, I just came in to tell you that... That the climbing gang's in town. Yeah, but I think you also ought to know... That, that everybody in town don't give a hoot one way or another. Yeah, and beside that, I better stay out of their way. I'm afraid that you... I won't take that advice. So I came to offer my help. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, all the towns in the whole world for you to take up preaching, man, and to preach the gospel. Why did you choose this one? Well, Hoss, I figured as long as I was fishing for the souls of sinners, I might just as well fish where the big ones are. Well, let's go out there and see if we can put a couple on our hooks. And just how do you intend doing that? Well, first I gotta get their attention. Preacher, since you don't wear a gun or a badge, you keep your eye on the Clintons after you send that telegram. Chip, you going over to the bank. Don't make a move you hear from me. Yeah. Folks in this town have been using the law for their own convenience too long. They got to learn that it works 24 hours a day and it's equal for everybody. There he is now. So what? Uh, there he is. What are you going to arrest him for? Anything. Come on. Swing with the right. Why? Uh, that's what I thought you said. You're under arrest for inciting a riot, Your Honor. A what? A riot. Joe, get these boys for public brawling for inciting a riot. Uh, uh, Sheriff, you can't do this. What? We're just settling our differences. Yeah, well, that's not the way to do it. That's what everybody else does it. Not anymore. Since when? Since now. Says who? Says me. Let's go. Oh. I 
happen to be the judge here, and a model citizen of this town, and I'm telling you, you cannot do this. Mm -hmm. It's a threat of a trumped up charge, and you can't make it stick. Mm -hmm. But it isn't the letter of the law, ain't it? It'll be thrown out of court. Yeah, probably. And what's more? Just who's going to try this case with me in jail? Oh, I'll probably have to go get the circuit judge. It may take him two or three weeks to get here. Two or three weeks? Oh, my mama! We'll see what we can do about that, Pete. There. Didn't I tell you boys that fighting was wrong? No. I didn't? No. Well, didn't anybody tell you? No. Oh. I see. I am sick and tired of you and your whole family. Ma, I want you to know that my family is one of the oldest in town. Well, I always said you look young for your age. <gasps> Ladies. My age? I don't know who paints your face, but whoever it is does a beautiful job and ought to sign his work. Ladies. Oh, you keep out of this. I just wanted to tell you that... My face is not painted. This is my natural color. Then why does it come off on your collar? You're under arrest for creating a public disturbance. Lock him up, Joseph. Oh! Ladies. Ladies, right this way, please. Telegram? Senate, we got an answer. They'll be waiting. Good. They in there? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Do you mind if I had a little talk with the prisoners while you're gone? Go right ahead. I think they'll be in a mood to listen. See a sign of their tracks. Well, this is it. 
here. This is where they're at? Well, this is where I'm arresting the bank robbers, and that's you, Jack Clem. You're under arrest. Can't do that, Sheriff. We ain't wanted in California. We ain't been in California for about the last five minutes. We're in Nevada. Ah, uh, yes, but you're a California sheriff, and you've got no authority in Nevada. That's right. All right, boys, come on out. Look around you, Jack. <laughs> Boy, am I glad to see you, Paul. Yeah, I'm kind of relieved to see you, too, sir. There for a while. I didn't know whether I was leading them or they was chasing me. Here's that list of banks that were robbed. Good. Now, give me them bank books. Very good. Paul, I'll see you. Thank you much. I know all of you. And you're all for the law. One hundred percent. Just as long as it applies to the other fellow. And that brings up the question, is the law the master or the servant of the people? We're close. Yeah, wait a minute. Here's uh, Clem's bank books. Here's a list of the banks they robbed and how much they took. Now, you see to it that that money's put where it belongs, or I'm going to arrest you for receiving stolen properties, and that ought to be good for 10 years. I'll take care of it right yeah, away. Yeah, I would. And there'll be a federal marshal by next week to make sure it's done properly. You've all been living by your own set of rules for a long time now. But from now on, you're going to live by a different set. The ones in here. Pass, I'm... I'm obliged to you. It's been a long time since I liked being a lawman. Huh. Well, Chip, a fellow's got to work at it. The Bodie brothers are coming. That Bertie, well, them fellas can't give up because... Let me handle this. Well, be my pleasure. Go right ahead. And you're all pointing your fingers at everybody else. Well, you better start cleaning up your own house before you tell the other fella his is dirty. About three, Reverend. All finished, horse. Well, Judge, I reckon you've learned your lesson about the letter of the law, so I'm going to let you go now. No, Sheriff. I've been charged. I demand a trial. You do? Even if I have to conduct it myself. is now in session. I... Uh, I find you all guilty of various and sundry charges. Anybody got anything to say before I pass sentence? Well, the sentence is... Ten days at hard labor. Including me. And anybody who isn't out on that street helping to clean up this town at eight o'clock tomorrow morning is going to jail for 30 days. Get on go, Sheriff. That was a great sermon. I was just getting started, Judge. Well, you just pick up on Sunday where you left off, and I'll be in the first row. Hey, you see the boys? Yeah, I saw them. I told them to go home and not come back to town till they could learn how to behave. Is that a fact? What happened? Well, nothing special. I think they'll probably go home when they wake up. Hey, hey! <laughs> Good for you, Joe. <laughs> well, Joe, you ready to go home? Oh, that? Let's go. Wait a minute. 
You can't go. If you leave now, what'll happen to this town? Why, Judge, I don't think anything's gonna happen to this town that your new sheriff here can't take care of. Awesome. Reverend? Joe, take care. Thank Ben for me. Well, it is. Let's go, Joe. Hey, Sheriff, I almost forgot. I keep it for souvenir. Remember trouble. We ain't likely to forget it soon. Adios.